it's always nice to be able to take a trip. Vacations are always fun. It's always a good time to just get away for a little bit. But this week, today actually, for the Rams, it's not going to be a good trip because they're getting ready to visit Upset City. Because the Ravens are getting ready to shock a lot of the world, not myself, but they're getting ready to shock a lot of the world and win today against the Los Angeles Rams. I almost called them the Las Vegas Rams. I always forget the, where they're from. Anyway, um, this should be a very fun game. Uh, the Ravens have their backs against the wall. And like somebody brought out in a recent episode of questions from subscribers, this is normalcy for the Baltimore Ravens. This is the regular. This is what we as Ravens fans are used to when it comes to the end of the season. Again, 2019, that was a dream that wasn't real. Because Ravens never have anything locked up <laughs> in the last couple of weeks. They're usually either fighting for a playoff spot, fighting for seeding. They're fighting for something. And this season is no different. Of course, Lamar Jackson, they, they keep running the same thing. Oh, man, he's questionable going into this game. We know Lamar's not playing. It's okay, Ravens. You're not fooling anybody. You're not fooling anybody. And, and that's okay. There's no problem with that. Let Lamar rest. Let Lamar get healthy. Make the smart decision, as it seems you guys are doing, even though it seemed like with him being out in practice that day, you were trying to rush him a little bit, but all right, he ain't practiced the next two days. Cool. But Tyler Huntley, Tyler Huntley came back on Wednesday, I believe. No, he came back on Thursday. Uh, from being on the COVID list, he got activated and was practicing again. Josh Johnson is still there, of course. Uh, but Tyler Huntley, having him in this game, a healthy Tyler Huntley. Hopefully he has no lingering effects from COVID or anything like that. But I expect him to go off again. I expect him to have a good game again. And for me... My confidence in this game is the same confidence that I had going into the game with Green Bay. And I, I knew we were going to win that game against Green Bay. And we should have won that game against Green Bay. And, and we should have had a better chance of winning that game against Green Bay. But you know what happened at the very end. I just hold up two fingers and, and let you decide the rest. But anyway, this game, it's the same thing. Nobody's going to see it coming. Well, again, I'm, I'm letting you all know ahead of time that it is coming. But... Nobody's going to see it coming. Nobody's going to expect it. Yeah, Rams got a tough, tough defense. They got Jalen Ramsey. They got Aaron Dalton. They got a lot more guys than those two. Those two guys are just the household names. They got a former Raven, uh, what, Darius Williams, number 11, who has been playing amazing since he's been with the Rams. They got some nice – they got a squad, man. They got a squad. They they had Kenny Young, too, but they traded him away earlier this season uh, to the Lions. I forgot where they traded him, too. Uh, but, and that was a sad story. But anyway, you know, that defense is something serious, man. But you know, this is where Greg Roman comes into play. Because Greg Roman, again, for, for some strange reason... Greg Roman, he, 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 he likes to call a game that helps, up, he, that helps out these backup quarterbacks more than it helps out his starting quarterback. But we've talked about that, and I'm sure we'll talk about it more later on. But Greg Roman, the expectation is that he calls the same type of game plan. Now, um, this could be a big game for Rashad Bateman. Now, in this game, I expect Rashad Bateman to be consistently involved because for the past couple of games we've seen Rashad Bateman early on he's involved it's like all right let's go Bateman but this game I expect consistency reason being because Hollywood Brown he hasn't practiced much this week if at all and if he goes today cool but if he doesn't go today then it's gonna be next man up so guys like Tylen Wallace a healthy Devin DuVernay he should be back James Prochet, who a lot of Ravens fans been knowing about, been knew about, and they got shown a lot of him last week. So we and Sammy Watkins too. Sammy Watkins still around. It could be easy to forget. And that's not a shot at Sammy Watkins at all. It's just because he he just hasn't been out there. But they still got him in the back pocket. 
And then we got, of course, Mark Andrews. Mark Andrews. Ooh, you know Mark Andrews. One thing about Mark Andrews, um, I think it was my guy Jake Vogel. He um, and, and my guy Huddle It Up Films in this preview that he did with my guy uh, Garnett West. Uh, and he usually does it with Jake Vogel. Uh, Jake mentioned that he expects Jalen Ramsey to cover Mark Andrews. And I would as well. That makes sense. Because that's their best corner. I mean, he's one of the best corners in the league. Could have been a Raven twice. Almost was a Raven twice. But, of course, things fell through. Um, but it's, it is what it is. Uh, but him being on Mark Andrews, that would open it up for other people around him. It certainly would. Now, in this game, um, as far as offense... Again, I expect them to do their thing. Ben Cleveland, hey, Ben Cleveland, show your stuff. This is your chance to really make some money. I know you can't get a raise for, for a couple of years, but this game, and Bradley Bozeman, this, this is your chance to price yourself out of Baltimore, even though I'm sure he would love to stay, but, you know, money talks. If you ain't paying me, then you ain't staying with me. I'm out. Um, but anyway, this is Bradley Bozeman's chance to earn some money. Cash, you put up a good game today against Aaron Donald. Ooh, your price is going up. It's going way up. And the Ravens, oh man, I, I just I can't wait to the end of this game. I can't wait to see y'all because I know everybody's gonna pick the Rams, 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 and I, and I can expect that. But not today. It ain't going down today. And on defense, Matt Stafford. Hey. It's, it's, it's 2022, but we, we want to see some, some of the 2021 Matt Stafford that we've seen from time to time. Uh, We're we going to see some of that throwback Matt Stafford from the Lions from time to time where he just, he, he just loves to give. He's going to do it again. Ooh, I can't wait. I, I know they got Cooper Cup. Cooper Cup, he going to get his. Odell Beckham, he going to get his a little bit too. But Matt Stafford... He's going to get some touchdowns now, but two interceptions, two costly interceptions, too. Today, Ravens going to make it happen, y'all. Got Jimmy Smith back. Got Chris Westry back. Anthony Ava is out, which that sucks, but they're going to make up for it. Now, um, with uh, Odell Beckham Jr. and Cooper Cup, they are, especially Cooper Cup, he is a quicker wide receiver. I would expect Chris Westry to be on him. Odell Beckham, he can move too, of course. And I would expect Jimmy Smith to be on him. And you know they're not gonna they're not gonna have like one guy, they're not gonna have anybody travel. Because Ravens don't have their cornerbacks travel. The only one that they really did that with was Marlon Humphrey, but sometimes they wouldn't even keep him on the same guy the whole game. But Chris West is gonna play his side, Jimmy Smith's gonna play his side. But um I, I the matchups that I like better would be Chris Westry versus Cooper Cup rather than Jimmy Smith because Chris Westry is, at this point in his career, he's much quicker than Jimmy Smith is. And he's very tall, very lanky, 6'4". He's a giant. So it, it'll be tough going against Cooper Cup. But maybe Ravens will play some of that uh, Devontae Adams defense against Cooper Cup. I don't think they'll play it early. I think they'll, they'll, they'll try early on, see what they could do, see how their matchups are looking. But... They're going to end up playing that Devontae Adams defense against a Cooper Cup. Because, um, you know, like Cooper Cup, the thing about him, similar to Mark Andrews, but the thing about Cooper Cup is that you know he's getting the ball. You know he's the, the best wide receiver on the Rams. And you know he's getting the ball, but they still throw it to him 50 times a game anyway. They still do. So, again, he's going to get his. He's, he's going to get his for sure. But... Ray Ravens are going to get this in the end. Oh, man. It is going to be so nice, man. And I can't wait. Team, keep it clean. Y'all make sure y'all come through to the live stream. Of course, we're going to have a lot of fun out there. Oh, I can't wait. I can't wait. And again, Ravens are going to show everybody why it ain't over till it's over. It's not. I know the Ravens have put themselves in this position to where right now they're on the outside of the playoffs looking in. And they've made some, some pretty bad decisions down this stretch. Uh, a lot of greed involved. A lot of um, just unnecessary stuff involved. 
it didn't have to be this way, but hey, it is. And they know what's at stake. Shout out to rib to ribeye. Uh, I like my steak medium, but anyway, they know what's at stake for the season. They know what's on the line. And their backs are all the way, <laughs> not even against the wall. Their backs are through the wall. But this is the way that they like it. And this is what they know most. Yes, I know they got 50 million people on injury reserve. They got every reason to lose this game. They got every reason to lose so many of the games that they've played this year. But injuries haven't been the reason that they've lost, especially recently. Especially recently. They've lost it because of themselves. They lost it because of their decision. And it's not even one of those things where it's like, oh, man, well, uh, no, the, the, the other team was just that much better than the Ravens. No, not necessarily. You know, Ravens, they, they get a little greedy. They get a little... Oh, they, well. Not today. Let's be smart today. And today... If, if you're going to be, because, I mean, we expect greed at this point of the season because it's like, oh, okay. Um, but it, it, when you're going to be greedy, have some good play calls in. That's the biggest thing we ask. Have some, have some good play calls. You, when you're going to be greedy, because we know you're going to be greedy, have some good play calls in there, please. Please. Ravens just got pounced on last week. They got trampled last week by those Bengals. So, oh, this is the perfect setup, man. It's the perfect setup because they got beat down last week. Shout out to 520-500 Burrow. 500 Burrow. It's the perfect setup because nobody's going to see it coming. Ooh, this is going to be the heist of the century, man. I can't wait. i see y'all soon. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. And like Rams are going to be when it comes to being in this game after the fourth quarter, I'm out.